Hi guys, this is Abik and I'm back with a quick comparison of uh, my LEDV one s Echo which is on the right hand side and on the left hand side I have uh, the Swipe Elite Plus and uh, I'll be comparing the camera for these two devices because uh, a lot of you guys have been asking about the camera quality of uh, these devices so I thought I'll just put them side to side and I'll tell you how the camera is so I have uh, taken few pictures of uh, you know this particular marker which is there and uh, also this particular uh, watch of mine and I've taken few selfies and I'll compare and I'll show you how uh, the photos have been so I would say that uh, uh, the device uh, which I would prefer would definitely be uh, the swipe elite uh, because uh, of uh, the quality of camera however I just uh, you know show you guys how both the devices are and you can compare it for yourself so the, as you can see the camera applications are quite uh, you know kind of quite, quite fast in both devices and I'll quickly close this down perfect so uh, also uh, here I have taken the images I'll just show it to you let me just quickly open the gallery and I'll just open the gallery for this one as well let's go to camera and we'll show you the photos which I've taken so we'll start uh, with a photo of a watch which I've taken here on both devices uh, this is side to side as you can see here so now I'll just zoom in the photo and show you how the quality is for this device as well as for this device as you can see on the left hand side uh, the device which we have which is the Elite Plus has captured the image really uh, good the details you can see would be you know coming in and it's quite sharp you're just going all the way up till here okay and whereas this one okay it's it's kind of they have a limitation to this uh, particular uh, zoom feature so we cannot zoom it uh, till that point uh, the LED one is but yeah it's okay I would say but uh, definitely this one is much more sharp and uh, when you compare both I would prefer this one uh, we have taken another shot of uh, the marker over here and I'll just show you the shot for the marker over here as well okay so this is kind of taken from like almost uh, a distance of about two feet okay and the reason i've chose uh, marker is because uh, you know you have the small text which we can you know see if it is getting captured basically so if i compare this one and this one you would see a difference over here definitely you can see uh, you know you you cannot make out what is written over here however this is quite clear and uh, this is the elite plus so as i've been saying uh, the camera quality of uh, elite plus is way better than uh, the LETV one s when you compare them side to side uh, the details captured uh, from the 13 megapixel ray camera on the elite plus is good and i would say it's one of the best performers in the 13 megapixel category uh, you know which we are getting nowadays I would probably not compare with uh, a 16 megapixel but uh, in the 13 megapixel category it uh, performs really good now we'll switch to the selfies which I have taken uh, just in this room just about you uh, know five minutes back so this one and the other selfie I have taken is this one so you can see both the devices uh, this is uh, one on the right hand side and on the left hand side uh, you can see the tone skin tone is kind of very dull over here uh, this is bit yellowish but still if you look at uh, the details captured the amount of details captured now just to point out guys uh, I am in an indoor uh, condition currently I'll just show you the room I'm in and let me just switch on a few lights as well so currently you know the room I'm in is does not have any source of natural light all we have is uh, you know kind of artificial lighting over here uh, at the top and there's no natural light currently available in this particular room so 
<coughs> yeah, that's how the photo is. Sorry about the reflection, guys, because we switched on the light. You might just see some reflection, but uh, yeah. Let's show you the images once again. So this is one image, and there's there's another image which I've taken. And this one again. There's another image I've taken, and this one as well. So I would uh, prefer you know the image on this one and uh, i'm sure uh, this can do a better job uh, when you know we take uh, the same or similar photo outdoors uh, this one i have tested outdoors as well it's a 5 megapixel this is a 8 megapixel so definitely the amount of details you get is more this is a sony uh, not a sony i'm sorry a samsung camera as well and uh, i would prefer this one and if you ask me for a camera uh, definitely uh, the Elite Plus is a clear winner here and uh, apart from that I've been testing the phone and uh, you know I find both phones to be quite uh, quick when you look at the performance of the phones so you can see it over here they're quite responsive this one has a benchmark score of about uh, 31,000 and this one has a benchmark score of about uh, 50,000 but uh, in day-to-day -day usage you would not probably find any lag on this one as well now uh, another quick thing i just wanted to show you let me just make sure that i clean uh, both rams over here this one and this one as well and then i'll go ahead and show you let me just scan and remove it the available ram in this phone as well as this phone now this comes with a 3gb ram and uh, this comes with a 2GB RAM. Now let's look at the availability of uh, both devices. We'll go here settings and we'll quickly go here to settings. Okay and now we'll just go to applications over here and applications over here as well. So under running we'd be able to see the available RAM if you look at both devices currently it's 1.1 gb available on uh, the elite plus and it's 1.1 gb available in the le echo as well le1s echo so this comes with a 3 gb but still you know the system is using a lot of uh, ram but the ram management over here of the system if you can see is low this is five and a half like 515 mb whereas uh, in this one it's 1.1 gb uh, even the application pl place it's taking is a 253 mb as of now i'll need to install more games in it then uh, you know we can see how that works this is taken already 440 mb so almost i would say that uh, you know both uh, both phones uh, ram wise would be more or less equal probably uh, this one might have a 20 to 30 uh, percent more ram okay when uh, completely installed but not more than that you would not see uh, 20 uh, over 20 percent uh, difference when it comes to ram so that's all from uh, my end guys and you can like you can subscribe and let me know if you want to know anything uh, specific about both these phones and uh, you know i'll try my best to answer all your questions uh, and uh, please like and subscribe and have a good day cheers bye